Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers and today's episode is all about testing and we're testing these guns. Now if you watched last week's episode of Tested, we tested the damage of Gatling turrets, missile turrets, interior turrets and these rifles against uh, heavy armor blocks. And we actually gave up testing the assault rifles because there was a range issue. Now what we saw was that we were not able to shoot some of the rifles at distances greater than about 120 meters well we have 500 meters worth of blocks here and we have got them to a point where I bring out my welder you see each one's at 25 percent and let me tell you i had to grind down every single one of these damn blocks it took a long time just for that alone hit the like button because it was painful Really, really painful. If anyone knows a mod that allows you to place partially built blocks in creative, I'm all ears. That would make this so much easier, especially if you can choose how much the grind level is. Now, first question is, why 25%? Well, this one's 5%. This one's 25 If I just fire a stray bullet, doesn't blow up. Two, doesn't blow up. Oops. I was like, four bullets? Now, this one is going to take more than four bullets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right? Now, you might be thinking your testing is going to go rubbish because look, all these blocks are damaged, right? These are next to each other. Every time I hit a block, it's going to damage it. Let's check the health of this. <gasps> 100%. The only thing that's changed is the model. Now, that's with these blocks. When you actually... Am I stuck on something? I am. <laughs> when you um, when you do it with these blocks, they don't deform. So you don't see that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through each gun. I'm going to walk up to the block. And I'm going to aim somewhere into the distance like so. I'm going to put a weight on my mouse. And I'm just going to let it fire for maybe five minutes and at the end of the five minutes we should have a good idea of the range now if after five minutes we're not hitting a block over a certain distance like taking no damage then i think it's fair to assume that one or two things either one we're missing quite regularly two if we are hitting it it's not really worth it like you wouldn't be shooting a base of 500 meters it's, it's insane uh, and this is another reason for 25. I want to make sure there's a reasonable number of hits. Like three or four. Yeah, it could be straight hits. Who knows? Uh, so we're going to do that on each of these. And then checking my whiteboard like a professional to make sure I know what I'm going to do. Ah, yeah. The second test is to see if the rate of explosions gets worse. Like, can we do we get through less blocks? over a period of time now we might actually see that in this clip because we're just going to be firing for five minutes and you'll see the explosions and they'll happen quite quickly and you'll hopefully towards the end of the five minutes start seeing it get a little bit slower so that all said and done i'm gonna get in position aim right down the end and uh start the testing all right i'll bring you back after this very short hopefully two minute long time lapse see you in a minute
Okay, welcome back. Now, interestingly enough, there was a few challenges of that. Although I accounted for damage not being done by the block blowing up, I did not account for damage of the bloom of the gun hitting other blocks. Now, if you don't know what the bloom is, imagine the uh, end of the barrel of the gun is the tip of a cone. And then from that cone to the target is what we call the bloom. So it's a cone shape that goes all the way down to the target. Now, on some of these guns, the rapid fire one in particular, it's massive. Like the cone of damage is big. So it'd be interesting to see um, if there's any damage actually to these. This is regular. So yeah, some of these got hit uh, like once it looks like, judged by the damage once or twice, some a bit more. Um, so that's something we just didn't think about. Now, this one. Yeah, I don't think they're the ones we replaced. But more importantly, how far did the automatic rifle shoot? Well, in five minutes, it was able to shoot, boom, 387 meters. And it couldn't shoot any further. So I think we'll come back. I'll tell you what we'll think in a minute, actually. There's no point telling you now. So that was the uh, automatic rifle. Now, this one was the precision rifle, which is all the way up here. And you might have seen from the uh, video, I had to redo this because it did take damage. So all I did was I built the blocks out until I started blowing them up again, basically. And then I gave it two minutes. So I gave it two minutes from basically here. And that's how far I got. It got maybe one block, two blocks. Now, this block is really interesting because, look, it has 4%. After one minute of damage, it went from 7% to 4 That's 3%. So, I, I don't want to say how many bullets I'm shooting a minute in that gun, but at the same time, they're not hitting their target, and that's with the precision rifle. So, bear that in mind. Yes, you might be able to shoot further than... 120 meters but not not realistically and that that matches what we found in the last video as well 120 125 meters this block uh, i doubt would have got there so that then comes on to this one which is the rapid fire gun and did this take any damage it took a little bit so this block feasibly could have been destroyed at 250 meters but again realistically if you're shooting this block for three or four minutes to blow it up, you know, more to you. I, I couldn't do that. That's just way too much. And then this is the Elite. So the Elite, again, 4%, 170 meters. So it's quite interesting because the normal rifle is, you know, good. Does some damage. Now, while that test was going on, I think that is, realistically, you're not going to be shooting blocks more than 500 meters away. Uh, or, sorry, <laughs> whatever it was for the automatic rifle, it was about 350. I can't remember. Been a while. Uh, 380. So, you know, the automatic rifle can probably go up to 400 meters. Now, what I'm interested in, having seen this, is that's great, but can we, can we hit blocks further away? Now... What I want to do is we'll we'll start with this one because it's the closest actually. So let's set a block here at 150 meters, which will be just here. And what I want to do is see if I can destroy that in a reasonable time frame. If I can, then hey, maybe this test is valid. If I can't do any damage and it's at 25%, then we know we've got stuff to work on. So again, what's this one? And we'll round this up to the nearest 50 as well, I guess. So we'll take this one up to 200. Just somewhere around here. Whoops. You dipsy. This one. Yeah. So let me get these blocks placed and ground back down. And then I'll bring you back after a time lapse of me shooting them. And we'll have a conversation quickly about those and what we found out. See you in a second. Alright, 
right, so I've just done the Elite and the Precision because I know they don't have as bad a bloom. And let's check the damage. Zero. Hasn't hit that block once. So we know that the Elite Rifle can destroy blocks up to about 170 meters, but rounding up to the next block, which is what well, here, 200 meters. And most 195, 197. Can't do it. Now, this one is precision. Again, didn't hit this at all. Just check these. None of those are hit as well. Apart from that one, which was hit last time. So again, the precision one can't go any further. Now, I'm going to quickly test the rapid fire, which I expect is going to destroy this block and this block, because why not? It's rapid fire. And I'll test the uh, rifle, the automatic rifle as well. And we'll, uh, we'll come back. All right. See you in a second. Okay, that was unexpected. So it can get that block that was uh, 200 meters away. I'm sorry. So let me place a couple more blocks here because this one is actually going to be interesting. So, so let's place one at 300 meters. Just in case. Which is probably that one. We already destroyed one a bit closer. I'm going to place one a bit further back. Probably uh, where's this? It's 380. It's going to be 350. Just in case. It must be that one. Oh, that was a little bit too short. Uh, so let's get rid of you. Is that 350? Yeah. The other side of this block is 350, right? Yeah. Cool. So let me set these up quickly and we'll, we'll do another quick test for these. That was interesting to say the least. I didn't expect it to hit it. Precision rifles, clearly, they suffer. Um, but let's uh, get all the way back to the starting point and we'll continue testing. And I'll just do the same as I did before. I'll shoot for a minute. It'll either destroy it or it won't. Um, I guess we'll see. All right, speed this up again. All right, let's go check this one by itself to see how far it did go in the end. Oh, it did get rid of the first one. Okay, but it didn't hit this one, I'm assuming. No. Oh, well, so it can't go 350, but it can go 300. I'm, I'm actually intrigued if I go... Uh, that one, and then stick one here. There. It's 320, 330. I just want to see if I can hit these quickly, and we'll just give it another minute, because... I feel like it's somewhere between 300 and 350 and we weren't getting a good number. So let's double check this because it would be nice to know. Just quickly double check. Some blocks got destroyed in the making of this. Oh, so it's hitting it, but it couldn't destroy it. So that's probably about the limit then. So where is where is this one? So that is 316, 317, something like that. Alright, that's good to know. Now on to the final one. That's the final one. Let's double check, see what this one did. Oh, it did destroy it. Did it hit this one though? Didn't. Okay, we're now in the territory of doing a little bit more testing because I'm intrigued. Um, so where's this? We did 400, right? 
do one there. I mean, this isn't going to be precise, but it will give us a closer number than what we had before. Get you all the way down. All right, let's quickly test those. In case it should hit one, it might not damage. Uh, it might not destroy, but it might. It should hit it. And we'll give it the same treatment. We'll give it a minute, and hopefully that will uh, be plenty of time for it to do some damage, and we can take some uh, assumptions from there. I did place one at 500 meters in case it made it that far because it was already at 400. But it looks like it's probably about 425, 450 the limit of this gun. But we'll let's do some testing and find out. All right, one more minute. All right, let's double check, see what we got. Nothing. So it definitely can't go this far, but it did destroy the one that was here. So it was at about 410. Yeah, so about 410 meters. All right. Well, we are done with our testing. That was interesting. So on the five minute test, obviously some of these did quite well. Um, they didn't do brilliantly, but they, they did okay. What was interesting with the, the extra distance one, and we'll be able to see it clearly here on the rapid fire. This is roughly where it got to before, um, which is what, 250. But we were able to destroy a block that was about here, and we were able to hit this one, I believe, yeah. So it can damage up to 325 meters, I'd say. And it's something similar with this one as well. This is the last block. And did we hit this one? We did, that was a 4% and that was 385. Um, now we've had a block somewhere around here. So I reckon it can do 400 meters. It didn't hit this block at all though. So somewhere around 400 meters for the uh, the normal automatic rifle. So again, 400 and 350-ish. Uh, yeah. No, 300. Okay. So 400 for the automatic, 300 for the rapid fire. Now if we come to the precision uh, elite gun, sorry. Look, 173. Um, it did destroy the block that was here. So realistically, about 200 meters so it's 400 300 200 and this one again up to here it was four percent and that was 119 so it, it basically made it to 12 blocks out right it's about here so about 150 so <laughs> if you've got precision rifle thinking it's going to be great for long range no like, if you're using that gun, use it below 100 meters, else don't bother. The time it takes to destroy these blocks, it's just not worth it. If you want to use a gun that's about 100 meters and you want it to be effective a little bit more and a little bit less, I would use the Elite because it, it can fire up to 200 meters. It's a little bit slow here, um, but it's accurate and does damage up to about 200 meters, I'd say. If you just want to get distance, it's got to be the automatic. It, it clearly just outstrips everything about 400 meters. So, you know, that's not bad at all. When it comes to the rapid fire, personally, I would just avoid it. It it does do damage, but as you saw from the bloom, it does damage everywhere. Like if you're trying to take out a wall, brilliant. But you're not in space engineers. You're trying to take out a single block. And that gun will not take out a single block at more than... Well, it was destroying these ones, right? And what's this at now? 100 meters. So that rapid fire gun, great for storming a base, sub 100 meters, N not more. The automatic rifle might be a little bit slower than the others, might be a little bit less accurate, but it's got range. I would say the automatic rifle is good for, you know, 200 plus meters um, if you had to use it. Now let's talk about effectiveness though. Because that was the reason for doing this timed element, right? Why would you want to wait five minutes to destroy a block? The reality is, after about 30 seconds, you've probably had enough, right? Like, if you can't destroy a block in 30 seconds, what's the point? And if we take, like, 
and this is just a guesstimate here, but let's grab the precision rifle. And we just roughly fire there. Let's see how long it takes for it to destroy whatever it is I'm aiming at. We finally destroyed something. How far away is that from the start? We, we got two blocks here, actually. I don't know how we got two blocks. What's that? 289 meters. Now, granted, I was in the air as well, so that probably didn't help. Uh, and you might notice that explosion was nowhere near where I was aiming, so I, I just wouldn't trust them. Um, like, if you're... Ooh, I can, <laughs> there's no grab. I put a grab gen up here. Um, if you're here, though, and you want to destroy blocks, like, just quickly, let's, let's just do a five-second test, right? So that's the automatic. We go to precision for five seconds as well. See, it's not it's not that good. Now the rapid fire, this is gonna be uh, spectacular. And let's try the automatic. I think that's the last one. Yeah, so largely, there's not much in it. The Elite and the Automatic is probably where I would go. I, w I just wouldn't bother. Like, the Rapid Fire, I mean, again, it can destroy blocks a little bit quicker. Um, it didn't this time. No idea why. But the reality is, why would you use it? I mean, it, the accuracy is not there. It's only really good for sub-100 meters. Right, I think we're done with the testing. So I think just a quick recap. Personally, I'm probably going to stick with the automatic rifle and the elite rifle, depending on what my mood takes me with. They're good guns. I wouldn't touch the other two with a barge pole. Next week, we're going to get back onto our regular schedule of build-alongs. There's a lot that's happening in terms of, um, as you saw last Saturday, we, we finally made it to space. We're going to have building to do. We're going to need new miners. We're going to need new bases. So we're going to get back into the build-along again, uh, and we'll work out what we're doing next week on that but for now that's all done if you like this and you want to see more of my content which will be space engineers related then by all means subscribe and uh we'll we'll leave it there thanks for coming along thanks for watching see you in the next one fly safe <laughs>